please welcome Unity's co-founder and chief technology officer, Joachim Ante. Thank you. Since I was in high school, which is when we wrote the first couple lines of code of Unity, we haven't really changed the core foundation pieces on top of which Unity is built. And today, I want to talk to you about how we're going to evolve Unity. So everything we're building is based on some principles and goals. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. So when I'm working on a game, there are times where I just need to uh, sit around and wait. And when that happens, I can feel a little bit of anger inside of me building. <laughs> and we don't want that. No. I want everyone to be really happy when making computer games. This is what we love to do. We should always have fun doing it. So we have a very specific goal in mind. We want to make it so that any change to content in Unity takes less than 500 milliseconds. Why 500 milliseconds? 500 milliseconds feels instant. Google figured this out. When you search with Google, you never wait for longer than 500 milliseconds. So 500 milliseconds from making a change to a single C-sharp file in a large project folder. 500 milliseconds to changing an FBX file to seeing it take effect on the target device. That's our goal. Another really important idea is that we think ourse of ourselves as your engine team. But what does, it, what does that really mean? So to me, it means that we work in close collaborations on productions using Unity. And we did this while, for example, developing the Entity Component System. Together with our friends at Nordius, we created a tech demo of a large battle simulation to really show off what you can do with Entity Component System. And both, both of the teams learned a lot from that experience. And it was really quite amazing. And it had a huge impact on the final system. And we want to do a lot more of that. But to do that, we need a really solid foundation. And we need the ability to deliver changes only to the parts that we're working on so that you can update to the latest version of a particular feature in Unity, confident that all the other parts of Unity stay exactly the same. And that's packages. Then this is probably my favorite one. This concept is performance by default. So first of all, what is, what is performance, really? So I'll start with an example. My friend Mike Acton, he's probably one of the best engineers for writing high-performance game code in the world. And when he writes code, he knows exactly what hardware he's targeting. And he lays out his data specifically for that hardware. And he writes code specifically for the platform. And he makes it run the most optimal way. And so that's what we define as performance. And when we say performance by default, our aim is that we want to enable you to write code like that by default, similar performance levels. So the most, the most important thing about performance is data layout. And that's why we built the Entity Component System. The Entity Component System is a new way of writing game code and engine code that makes it easy and automatic to access your data in the optimal way for the particular hardware you're targeting, all using simple code. Now, individual CPU core clock speed is not getting any faster anymore. But more and more cores are being added. So if you want to stay competitive making the best games, you need to take advantage of multi-core hardware. The problem is, 
Multithreading is inherently difficult. So we built the c -sharp job system to, sol to solve the fundamental complexity of writing, uh, writing multi-threaded game code. We make it safe and we make it easy. The Burst compiler is specifically made to write c -sharp jobs, to compile c -sharp jobs. It is about generating the optimal machine code for the different target platforms. And we're making it very easy to take advantage of all the instructions on the CPU. So as a whole, when you combine all of these things together, you can get on the order of 100x speedups. That is, that, that is the entity component system. <laughs> right. So by combining the entity component system, c -sharp jobs, and, and the burst compiler, you can get these speedups. Another one is connected games. Connected games is super important for Unity. I believe that in the future, almost all games that are successful will, be, will have some form of networking built into them. And so we think that Unity must become the best game engine to create network games. And I also think no one has really solved this problem right in any game engine so far. And I think the, the problem is that game engines always look at this problem as, oh, we take this one networking architecture, and then we will just fit that to all games. But the reality is that different, different types of games are really fundamentally different from a networking perspective. The way you network a real-time strategy game and a first-person shooter are simply different. So we're acknowledging that, and we are building the networking architecture really into the core now, and we're making it so that you can choose which networking architecture you want to go for. If you want to go for an RTS game, a fighting game, um, or a first-person shooter. Now, we want to make it really, really easy. So when you're writing game code, we want to make it so that writing network code comes by default, so that you don't have to think much about that with a single way of writing code. But ultimately, so all of these changes, they are really a big change in how you can write game code. And ultimately, the only one who can really convince you that this is a good way uh, to do things is, is you. You trying it on a real project by yourself. And so our aim is to make it really easy to try it out. If you have an existing project, our goal is to make it so that in 30 minutes, you can take a single mono behavior with existing Unity game code and convert it to the entity component system and have a good experience optimizing your code. All of this new technology, you can adopt piece by piece. So you choose if and when you want to use this tech inside of Unity. So everything we're building is based on these principles and goals. Some of those you can see clearly in the entity component systems. Others are goals we're only starting on now. So how can you get involved? Today, we're making the entity component system available as a preview. It isn't available for production yet. This is for the adventurous ones, those who want to make games that were impossible to make before. We also have a tech demo showing a large battle simulation and we're making that project available to you as well today. So this is the very beginning of a journey of evolving Unity. And we want to invite you to take a look and give us feedback on that very early on, to come along with us on that journey. So thank you.